Hello, my name is Dr. Paul Merritt, and I am going to be um, with you this entire spring term for childhood psychopathology. Of course, none of us signed up to uh, have this course this way, and in fact, I've been kind of scrambling to try to figure out how to make this course work in an online environment, because uh, my plans were very different. But uh, we're still gonna move ahead, and we're still gonna learn a lot. Um, to give you an idea of my background, I have a PhD in Cognitive Neuroscience from Colorado State University, uh, along with a Master's and Bachelor's from uh, CSU as well. I also have a year of law school and then some under my belt. Decided I didn't want to do that. Um, after I finished my PhD, I did a two-year postdoctoral fellowship at George Washington University um, in Cognitive Psychopharmacology under the direction of Elliot Hirschman, where we uh, investigated uh, models of memory using drug-induced amnesia. So one of my areas of expertise is in actually drugs and human behavior. So we'll be talking somewhat, uh, taking a, a pretty good look at some of the psychopharmacology in this field. It's pretty difficult, uh, particularly with kids, because kids are not adults. They're not just smaller adults. They're actually very different, and they respond pharmacologically very different from adults. So we'll um, be spending some time discussing that. Uh, anyway, after I finished my postdoc, I was an assistant professor at Texas A&M University in Corpus Christi, Texas. From there, I went to Clemson University for eight years, then did a three-year uh, assistant professorship at Georgetown University in Washington, D.C., where I still teach um, online during the summer. So I'm actually in the process of updating my cognition class online. I do want to note, I have a YouTube channel that I will uh, link to on Canvas, and all of my drugs and human behavior lectures are there, all of my physiological psychology lectures are there. Um, I am currently teaching cognitive neuroscience at the University of Denver um, online, so those lectures will be appearing over the next few weeks, uh, and probably some of the material from this course will appear there as well. Um, to give you a little bit of an idea of how things are right now, um, I live here in Denver. Um, uh, staying uh, with some friends. I'll probably be moving over to um, a house by myself here in the next week or two. Um, but, of course, we didn't expect to be doing all of this online. I teach five classes at the moment. Uh, two at the University of Denver, which started today, which is March 30th, and then three over at the University of Colorado, Denver. Um, so, things are a little hectic. So please be patient with me. One of the things I ask is that if you do contact me, and please do if you need something, um, make sure you let me know what class you're in because uh, I have five classes. So it's a little cuckoo. Uh, anyway, so uh, the semester is going to proceed uh, sort of as we can. I currently don't have any of the textbooks for this course. I'm ordering a paper copy of the main textbook from Amazon. Hopefully, we'll all get that soon. Um, I have electron. I can access the textbooks electronically, but I don't work as well that way. Um, but there's a main textbook, um, which I posted to the syllabus along uh, along with a case studies book. And that case studies book is something we'll be looking at every week, and that's where some of your um, assignments will come from. Uh, and again, as soon as I can get a hold of these um, materials, I'll advance a little bit better. Um, for now, I've started setting up this Canvas page, as you can see. Uh, the weekly quizzes I've started creating uh, in Canvas. So the first three, I believe, are up already. Those aren't due for another three weeks uh, because I imagine, or another two weeks, sorry. Some of you may have difficulty getting a hold of uh, the texts as well. Um, so let's stay in touch on that. Uh, for now, I have set up a video for you to watch called The Boy Who Was Turned Into a Girl, which is a pretty tragic case about uh, a young man um, from uh, the 1970s, uh, or he was a, a baby in the 1970s. And I don't want to give away too much, but I want you to think very carefully about what that particular case tells us about um, the sort of nature versus nurture questions we're going to struggle with a bit this uh, term. And also think very carefully about sex and gender, uh, because it's a very hot button issue right now. And I do want to spend some time talking about gender dysphoria and how we handle um, sexual orientation and uh, transgender issues in youth, because it's a, it's a bit of a sticky issue right now. So uh, I think 
just sort of diving right into these topics is going to be uh, our best bet. So you watch that and engage in an online discussion. I'm going to start with um, some background material for this course, things like development, uh, genetics and epigenetics, or they kind of be in neural development in particular, are going to be some of the earliest areas we're going to look. One of the areas I do want to look at is how stress and poverty impact um, brain development. And while it might not necessarily always lead to psychopathology, there are some brain development issues that I think are important to touch on. And we'll also be working on dispelling some myths about development, you know, things like uh, that there is any relationship between autism and vaccines, those kind of myths. We'll be getting rid of uh, those um, kinds of myths as we move along. Anyway, um, please bear with us as we move along. Mostly, I want you all to take care of yourselves, stay healthy, try to stay sane. Sorry, that's Murray, if you're wondering. Um, nope, sorry, that's Levi, that was Murray. Um, anyway, welcome to online teaching uh, in this crazy time. So, um, Anyway, I want you all to take care of yourselves first and foremost. Um, things are going to be a little bit fast and loose um, and a lot more relaxed, I would say, in terms of um, how the semester goes along. I know there are days that I have a really hard time concentrating because I get worried or stressed. Um, so get out, get some exercise, try to eat healthy, you know, do your best. We're going to talk about diet, exercise, and depression at some point in the term, and I think those are very important. Anyway. So I wanted to introduce myself, so you could put a face um, to the uh, voice behind the things you'll be hearing, and uh, please let me know if there's anything you need. Take care. <laughs>